All right, hi chemistry folks. In this video, I wanna talk about our last couple of conversions on page 18. I wanna talk about how we're gonna handle 18 to 22. If you notice, these problems are different. In 18, it's feet squared to meters squared. 19 is liters to cubic millimeters. 10 is decimeters cubed to liters. So the reason these are different is that they are area and volume conversions. So what I mean by that is area, we recognize area if the unit is squared. So if we have feet squared, centimeters squared, inches squared, we're dealing with uh, an area. You know, we've taken two dimensions and multiplied them to figure out what area an object has. For volume, we have a couple of different units. For volume, we could have things like cubic centimeters cubed. We could have millimeters cubed. You know, we could have any of our normal distance or length units cubed. Or we could also have something like liters or even milliliters. Now, I know liters and milliliters doesn't have the cube on it, but it's still a measure of volume. So just kind of keep this in mind. Now, when we deal with area and volume unit conversions, we still do all of our normal steps in factor labeling. So remember our steps. We still write down our given and put it over one. We still cancel out our given unit in our first step. We put it on the bottom of our conversion factor. We still put our desired or wanted unit on top of our conversion factor. We still fill in with our correct numbers. We still set up multiple steps if we need, and we still complete the math and check our answer. So we still follow those six steps we're used to. There's just gonna be one different thing we do in our conversion factor. So let's try a couple of these together on page 18. So let's start with 18. We have, on 18, 725 feet squared. And I wanna change that to meters squared. Okay, we know if we're dealing feet or our English or metric, we need inches and centimeters, right? Inches and centimeters is lets us change from our English or metric, sorry, our English or imperial system to our metric system. So I'm gonna put this over one and I wanna to go to inches first, because that's gonna let me get to my metric system. So feet, it's gonna be squared, and I can just make it inches squared. And I know normally that'd be 12 inches in one foot. But we're dealing with area, we're dealing with squares. <laughs> so this is where it's different. If both of our units are squared, guess what? We have to square the numbers. So that's the difference. If both units are squared, we just square the units. Or sorry, we, if both units are squared, we square the numbers in our conversion factor to make it true. So now I have inches squared. So now I can do inches squared to centimeters squared. And again, we know normally that'd be 2.54 and one. But again, that's when it's just centimeters and inches. If it's squared units, what do we do to the numbers? Square. So now we know our area in centimeters squared, but we're not quite done. We need to change it to meters. Okay, this one we know. This last one is, ooh, look, we're mixing conversions. This is a metric conversion. Centi is 10 to the negative two. Our meter, that's our base unit, that's 10 to the zero. Meters is larger, it gets a one. The difference between them is 10 to the second, zero and negative two. But again, because it's squared and squared, what do you think we have to do to the numbers? We have to square. So now all of our units cancel except for meters squared. So now to do this in our calculator, Slide that up a little bit. 725 times 12 squared times 2.54 squared.
squared. And then divided by, notice it's gonna be 10 squared squared, which I think should just be 10 to the fourth. Oops. Time, or divided by, what am I doing? Divided by 10 up to the second, up to the second. And you can see my calculator gives me 67.354704. I think three sig figs, right? So 67.4 meters squared. So you notice nothing new here in terms of canceling units or doing our metric conversion, changing from a prefix to a base unit. But because all our units are squared, we have to square our numbers in our conversion factors. And it's similar for volume. Volume, if we have both are cubed, what do you think we have to do? We have to cube our numbers. So let's try volume one. <laughs> So for 19, we want to go 12 liters, and we want to change it to cubic millimeters. So this is a little tricky. This is where we need to do another conversion. So notice we have cube liters, and then we have, or sorry, not cube liters. We have cubed units, and then we have liters. So we need to know a conversion between these. So if we want to convert from liters to a cubic unit, we need to know that one milliliter and one cubic centimeter are the same. So like before, inches to centimeters, well, if we wanna go from our metric to our English or imperial cubed units, we always have to use milliliters or cubic centimeters. So if I have liters to start and I wanna to go to my cube unit, I gotta to go to milliliters. Don't worry, I'll do a couple more of these. Liters to start on the bottom, ML on top. This is a metric conversion. The base unit is larger, it's 10 to the zero. Milli is 10 to the negative third. So that's a difference of 10 to the third, so liters will cancel. Now that I have milli, now I can go at milliliters to cubic centimeters and it's one to one. And then now I can go cubic centimeters on the bottom and I can just change my prefix centi to milli in that final step. Centi is 10 to the negative two. Milli is 10 to the negative three. Let's see, I think negative two is larger, so that's a one. The difference between them is one. But then notice, both units are cubed. Again, both units are cubed, so I need to cube both of these. And notice I didn't do that throughout my volume problem. Volume can be a bit tricky because liters isn't cubed. We only need to cube both our numbers if both units are cubed. So I don't cube here because ML is already volume. I don't cube here because liters and milliliters are already volume. I only need to cube my numbers when it's cubed and cubed. So doing my math, 12 times 10 to the third times one times 10 up to the first to the third. And I get that as my answer. One, two, and then how many zeros is that? One, two, three, four, five, six zeros. And then my unit of millimeters cubed. Okay, kind of tricky. Volume's tough. Let me do maybe a couple more volumes here. So let's try 20. So 20. I have 10 decimeters. And I want to change it to liters. So it's cubic or dm cubed decimeters cubed. And I want to go to liters. So again, just kind of going back to our notes before, if I want to go from a cubic unit to liters, I need one of these units. I need mLs or I need cubic centimeters. That's my conversion between the two. So I have a cubed unit. I want to get rid of it. And I want to go to cubic centimeters. So that way I can go to milliliters. 
So let's see, Deci is 10 to the negative one. Centi is 10 to the negative two. So negative one is larger, it's one. The difference between them is 10 to the first. But it's cubed and cubed, so I need to cube my numbers. Now that I have cubic centimeters, I can cancel that out and go to milliliters. That is just one to one. And now that I have milliliters, I can go to liters. Liters is larger, and I know there's 10 to the third milliliters, a thousand milliliters and one liter. And again, I don't need to cube for either of these. It's not cubed and cubed. It's not cubed and cubed. I only do that when both units involved are cubed. So doing our math real quick. So 10 times 10 to the first to the third divided by 10 to the third in my final step. Oop, don't want to add. And I get that final answer of 10 liters. Uh, it just so happens, not that you need to know this, but it just so happens that one cubic decimeter is actually the same amount as one liter. So you noticed 10 cubic decimeters equals 10 liters. They're actually the same volume. Let's try one more maybe. Let's try 21. 21, I have 95 mLs, and I want to go to cubic inches. Okay, so I know, back up to my notes here, if I want to go between liters and any of my cube units, it's got to be mL and cubic centimeters. That's my starting point. Okay, over one. mL, cm cubed, that's one to one. I want to go to inches, so I know, oh, centimeters and inches I know. One inch is 2.54, but again, I check. Again, I didn't do it here because it's cubed in liters, but here it's cubed and cubed. So I need to cube and cube my numbers. Again, I only square or cube the numbers in the conversion factor if both units are squared or cubed. So 95. Let me show you my calculator here. Times one, who cares? It's just gonna be divided by that 2.54 up to the third at the end. And I think two sig figs. So 5.8 inches cubed would be our final answer. So again, the key to these is just making sure that you check your units in the conversion factor. If they're both squared, we need to square the numbers. If they're both cubed, we cube the numbers. And then and only then, whenever, remember, it's milliliters to cubic centimeters, it's just one to one. We don't need to cube those. Not that that changes anything. Good luck, maybe try 22 on your own and check the key. And then our work today is page 19, 1 to 7.